We're back live in the NLR headquarters, reporting to you in front of this E90 2007 335 that's needing some work. Today's question of the hour and hot topic amongst the N54 community is port injection or methanol injection. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you to the streets to see what these friendly fellows in my sketchy neighborhood and alley have and what kind of an opinion they have regarding additional fueling for this vehicle. So come with and we'll go check it out. Excuse me, sir. We need to ask you a question. What's your opinion? Port injection versus methanol injection? Port meth. I think he's right. Okay, that was useless. Let's go find somebody a little more sensible. Sir, sir. Oh yeah, hi. I have a question here for you. What's up? I saw you were scrounging through our bins looking for some cans. I thought I'd figure I'd ask you a question and pay you in uh, five cent increments. Question of the hour. Port injection versus port methanol injection. Or just methanol injection. Well, back in my day, methanol was a good time, so I'm all for a good methanol. Whoa, 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 whoa. Methanol injection. Substances are not a good thing unless it's gal gasoline and uh, engine oil. But anyways, let's start again. <laughs> not interested. <laughs> all right, well, let's go back to the dojo and uh, I'll figure this out myself. Emma, can I ask you a question? Port injection or methanol? There you have it. Just... Buy a Corvette or a Porsche and be done with it. Just kidding. Ben's not a methanol addict in the uh, illegitimate sense. This is my buddy Ben from Australia and from Grease Garage. G'day. He, uh, I think he said good day, but we'll make sure that the editor puts some captions. Yeah, because might have to do some translations. What? What? We're here doing uh, another upgrade on the red e90 today we're going to be talking about the top three reasons why you should choose to do port fuel injection on your n55 and n54 powered vehicle especially when you're looking to do above 550 wheel where you're running into the limitation of the factory direct injection with the port injections you have six injectors and it runs off the line that's going to be tapped to your high pressure pump so you will need an upgraded fuel pump. And in this case, we have dual Walbro 450s. But the biggest, biggest reason why we had gone port injection, not only is it gonna clean the valves, because today we're gonna to be doing a walnut blast, but in some cases where you're gonna be demanding a lot from the methanol system, if you do end up choosing to go with one, is you'd put a bung here and you're relying on the intake manifold to, well, the charge pipe to atomize the methanol correctly. So if you have too big of a nozzle, it may not atomize correctly and you may not get even cylinder distribution. The good thing about methanol is that you could run a separate tank, just run 91 octane, but it does take some time to ramp up. And when it ramps up, you could run into a situation where it's a bit too rich, a bit too lean, but at the end of the day, port injection is gonna be the way. Fill up your tank with good old E85 and send it. Number two reason is a lot to do with the tunability on this. Um, going for into the manifold like that is not great. Doesn't really give an even distribution. So going for direct injection or port injection is a lot better. Gives you e even distribution. Yeah, another one of the biggest reasons is the methanol injection typically works on a bit of a window. So you end up hitting a certain boost and it does take time to ramp up. And it is a little bit, unpredictable when it comes to the amount of fueling and as Ben had mentioned port injection you can essentially dial right into the tune and depending how much you end up wanting to increase you can have a ramp up it's not going to directly affect in a negative way the amount of fueling so it's not going to have a rich or a lean spot and what's going to end up happening again it's going to clean the valves but it's going to be very consistent so you get the same amount of fuel same rpm same boost and it stays very consistent. There's no second guessing. There's no questioning if you have enough fuel or if you run out of the tank and you do retain a lot of the safeties. So for the port injection install, what I'm gonna start with is removing his M3 cowl so that we can access the intake manifold. And in this case, he has 220 or 240,000 kilometers on the valves. They've never been cleaned. So it's gonna be like unwrapping a dumpster fire. We're gonna pull this off we're gonna see the condition of the valves and we're gonna to have to clean them ahead of time for when we go to put the nice new shiny parts on. 
So oh. Ben, have you ever worked on uh, a German jalopy like this? Uh, no. All about that V8 and uh, so V6 hold, Wait, life. wait, wait, wait. Is that no or nar? And oh. Nar. No. Nar. That is actually spelled N-A-U-W-R-E-I-G-H. Nar. Nar. Nar, mate. I, nar, I did not. Do you need me to speak slower for you? Some days, yeah, actually. <laughs> It would help. In your case, my brain's adding the captions <laughs> or this way. Nar. Nar. Now here he ends up having this one here because he did convert to single bank fueling. So we'll get this kind of up and away. We're gonna be walnut blasting. So we want as much stuff out of the way as we can. Power steering is gonna be a bit tricky because the charge pipe runs through it. So we're gonna take the charge pipe out this. Hopefully we can kind of Tuck down a bit where it doesn't end up spilling over. Take off the throttle body intake manifold and make sure nothing underneath is holding it up. Manifold's ready to come off, so let's uh, see how bad it is. Oof. Wow, that's weird. Have a look at this, cylinder five. Clean? Yep. So leaking injector on cylinder number five? That's my guess. This is gonna bring it to point number three as to why port's a good idea. I haven't even looked at it, but we pulled the manifold off and all I can smell is fuel. And uh, with their reactions, I have a bad feeling it's gonna be not good. Oh my God. Reason number three is it's going to clean your valves a lot better than methanol injection. Methanol injection will steam clean the valves to an extent, but you do want fuel to actually hit the valve to keep it clean after you end up doing a walnut blast. In this case, this is pretty bad. So fun fact, Ben actually used to live in Calgary for sure a little did. bit. A little while, yeah. a couple of years, and then met you in the car scene. Yeah, Poor sorry me. for that. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty random. Yeah. He and looked like a homeless child and I was like, hey, do you need a friend? <laughs> He's like, yeah, mate. And here I am, eight years since I left. Visiting come back just to watch you suffer on BMWs. Yeah, change for the worse apparently. I used to, did it? Cause it was RX-7 and Subaru and now it's BMWs and- Sucker for punishment. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, glutton for punishment yeah. or- Fun fact about Tony, uh, he cheats in Mario Kart. F off, I don't. <laughs> I don't cheat in Mario Kart. He does. Or are you talking about Mario Party? Well, yeah, Mario Party. Yeah, see? He doesn't even remember the details, so yeah. don't believe what he says. Because he goes Bowser all the time. He's well, you... as close as it can get to me for attitude and body sh shape. <laughs> are you body shaming me? No. I just wanted to have a chance to be Bowser. After inhaling walnut shells and dust for the past two plus hours, we get to throw this one in here. One of the things to keep in mind is if you're gonna go with port, you're gonna need something like this that actually has the holes for the port injectors. You can go with a plate, but this looks way better. So I guess spare tip when you go to install something like this is it looks wicked and it's going to perform as well as it looks, hopefully. I mean, it is China. So let's see if it even fits. As expected, it doesn't fit. So what we're gonna do to try and make it fit is install the rail later or afterwards and hope nothing falls into the open runners. Round two, you can see where I put the Y splitter adapter thing from Precision Raceworks. That's going to give us the extra fueling. This is how we're gonna end up routing the fuel rail. This one here, it's cut out a bit, but the only way it fits the nicest is to have it route up and around. Fortunately, we're gonna be able to put a wrench on there and put a snug to it. We're gonna finish bolting it together. And once it's all done and sorted, we will show you the final product. Of course, it's a bit subjective. This is why I recommend the port injection. 
and at least a decent port injection setup. What's left is we're gonna plug in all the injector connectors, wire up the JB4, we'll wrap it up and show you the final result. Wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm doing, hey? Satisfaction, oh. guaranteed. <laughs>